As the new year approaches, many people are setting resolutions to save more money and spend less. One common challenge that people take on is a no-spend challenge, where they aim to go a set amount of time without spending any unnecessary money. But can you really do it? Can you make it 30 days without buying anything that isn't essential? In this video, we'll explore the idea of a no-spend challenge and whether or not it's possible to stick to it for a month. So, are you up for the challenge? Let's find out. Step 1. Define your goals. As you embark on a 30-day no-spend challenge, the first step is to define your goals. What do you hope to achieve by cutting back on your spending? Are you trying to save money for a specific purchase or goal? Or maybe you just want to reduce your overall spending and live a more frugal lifestyle. Whatever your reason, it's important to have a clear understanding of your goals and motivations so that you can stay motivated throughout the challenge. One way to define your goals is to create a vision board or collage that represents your desired outcome. This can include images of the things you're saving up for, quotes that inspire you, or reminders of the benefits of a frugal lifestyle. By visualizing your goals, you can stay focused on the bigger picture and avoid temptation to make unnecessary purchases. Another approach is to write down your goals in a journal or planner. Be specific and realistic about what you hope to achieve and set measurable targets for yourself. For example, you could aim to save $500 over the course of the challenge or to reduce your monthly expenses by 20%. Step two, create a budget. As you embark on your 30 days of no spend challenge, it's important to establish a solid plan for managing your finances. Creating a budget is an essential step to achieving your goals and staying on track. One way to get started with creating a budget is by tracking your expenses over the past month. Look at your bank statements and receipts to see where your money is going. Categorize your expenses into different areas such as rent, utilities, footches, rent, utilities, food, entertainment, and transportation. Next, determine how much you want to spend in each category and allocate your funds accordingly. Be sure to include any bills or payments that are due during the challenge period. It's also important to set realistic goals for your budget. If you typically spend $500 a month on groceries, cutting it down to $50 for the entire challenge might not be feasible. Instead, aim to reduce your spending in each category by a certain percentage or dollar amount. Remember, creating a budget is just the second step in your no-spend challenge. It's up to you to stick to it and make adjustments as needed. But with a clear plan in place, you'll be better equipped to reach your goals and succeed in the challenge. Step three, find free activities. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. When we think about having fun, our mind immediately goes to the money we need to spend. However, fun activities don't always require money. In fact, there are plenty of activities that are plenty of activities that are completely free and can be just as enjoyable. Here are some tips on finding free activities. Research free events in your area. Many cities offer free events like concerts, festivals, and movies in the park. Keep an eye out for these events in your local newspaper, community bulletin boards, or online. Take advantage of the outdoors. Nature is free and can provide endless entertainment. Take a hike, have a picnic, or go for a bike ride in a local park or nature reserve. Visit museums and galleries on free days. Many museums and galleries offer free admission on certain days of the week or month. Do some research and plan your visits accordingly. Attend free classes and workshops. Many community centers, libraries, and schools offer free classes and workshops on a variety of topics, from cooking to painting to coding. Volunteer. Volunteering is a great way to give back to your community and meet new people. Look for local organizations that need volunteers and find a cause that you're passionate about. Step four, meal plan and cook at home. As you embark on your 30-day no spend challenge, one of the most effective ways to save money is to meal plan 
and cook at home. Eating out can quickly add up and blow your budget, so getting creative in the kitchen is a must. To start, take an inventory of the ingredients you already have on hand and plan meals around those items. You can also look for sales and markdowns at the grocery store to inspire your menu. When it comes to cooking, consider batch cooking and meal prepping to save time and money in the long run. You can also try new recipes using affordable ingredients like lentils and rice to keep things interesting. Don't forget to make use of your leftovers and get creative with how you use them in new meals. For example, leftover roasted vegetables can be tossed into a salad or used as a pizza topping. With a little planning and creativity in the kitchen, you can stick to your no-spend challenge without sacrificing delicious and nutritious meals. Step 5. Use what you have. Every household has a stash of unused items hidden somewhere. The No Spend Challenge is an excellent opportunity to take inventory of what you already own and put it to good use. In this chapter, we will explore how to make the most of what you have. Have you ever gone to the store and purchased something only to find out you already had it at home? It's an easy mistake to make, but it can be costly. When you're not spending any money for a month, it's crucial to use what you already have. Start by taking stock of your pantry and freezer. See what you have and plan your meals around those items. Get creative with your ingredients and try new recipes. You might surprise yourself with what you can come up with. Don't forget about your closet too. Instead of buying new clothes, try mixing and matching items you already own to create new outfits. You can also alter old clothes to give them a fresh look. Using what you have doesn't mean you can't have fun. You can host a clothing swap with friends or have a potluck dinner where everyone brings a dish made with ingredients they already have at home. By using what you have, you can save money and get creative. You might even discover a new hobby or talent. So before you run out to buy something, take a second to see if you already have it at home. Step six, get creative with DIY and upcycling projects. In the quest to save money during a no-spend challenge, it's essential to get creative and find ways to repurpose items that would otherwise be thrown away. In this chapter, we'll explore the art of DIY and upcycling and how they can help you save money while adding a unique touch to your living space. Instead of buying new items, consider creating your own with materials you already have on hand. Upcycling old clothes, furniture, or household items can be a fun and environmentally friendly way to breathe new life into your possessions. Transform your old t-shirts into a trendy tote bag or use an old ladder as a bookshelf. The possibilities are endless, and the satisfaction of creating something new from something old is priceless. Don't worry if you're not a DIY expert. There are plenty of resources available online to guide you through the process from simple projects to more intricate designs. Step 7. Cancel subscriptions and negotiate bills. To start, take inventory of all your subscriptions and recurring payments. Are there any that you can do without or that you no longer use? Canceling these subscriptions can save you a significant amount of money over the course of the month. Next, take a look at your bills. Are there any that you can negotiate? For example, can you call your cable or internet provider and ask for a lower rate? Can you switch to a different cell phone plan or negotiate a better deal with your car insurance company? Remember, the key to successfully canceling subscriptions and negotiating bills is to be confident and persistent. Don't be afraid to ask for a better rate or to walk away from a subscription that no longer serves you. You're well on your way to saving money and achieving your financial goals. But the journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's just beginning. Tomorrow, we'll be discussing the power of compound interest and how it can help you make your money grow faster. Don't miss out on day four of our challenge. Subscribe now to receive daily updates and take control of your financial future.